Hi everyone, I'm Coach Sierra, the Research and Assessment Specialist for Academic Coaching for World Changers, and today we're going to talk about non-experimental research and why it is preferred. You all may have heard the differences between experimental and non-experimental research, but I wanted to take the time to make a video to specifically explain why we may want to do a non-experimental research over experimental research. So let's define it. Non-experimental research is research that lacks the manipulation of an independent variable. Rather than manipulating an independent variable, researchers conducting non-experimental research simply measure the variables as they naturally occur in the lab or the real world. In a non-experimental research study, the research does not manipulate variables or conduct the researcher or the research, either one, does not manipulate the variables or conduct an experiment. All right, so when is non-experimental research preferred? There are many times in which non-experimental research is preferred, including when, A, the research question is about a causal relationship, but the independent variable cannot be manipulated or participants cannot be randomly assigned to conditions or orders of conditions for practical reasons or ethical reasons, such as does damage to a person's hippocampus impair the formation of long-term memory traces? We can't go around damaging people's hippocampus to, to see that study. So we would not conduct an experiment in that time. That would be considered unethical. The research question pertains to a non-causal statistical relationship between the variables. So if it's not causal, we're looking at a correlation, which means relationship. Is there a correlation between the verbal intelligence and the mathematical intelligence of a person? All right. C, the research question is broad or exploratory or is about what it is like to have a particular experience. For example, what is it like to be a working mother diagnosed with depression? So we won't go around giving everyone depression and then conduct a study. That would be considered unethical as well. And D, the research question or hypothesis relates to a single variable rather than a statistical relationship between two variables. For example, how accurate are people's first impressions? All right, so today we covered what is a non-experimental research study design. Non-experimental research study design is a type of research design that lacks the manipulation of independent variable. And then we went over four examples as to why or when non-experimental research is preferred. The research question is about a causal relationship, but the independent variable cannot be manipulated or participants cannot be randomly assigned to conditions or orders of conditions for practical or ethical reasons. The research question pertains to a non-causal statistical relationship between variables, also known as a correlation rather than a cause and effect. The research question is broad, broad or exploratory or is about what it is like to have a particular experience. So we cannot randomly assign them. And the research question or hypothesis relates to a single variable rather than a statistical relationship between two variables. Okay, so if you still have additional questions or you're still not sure what I'm talking about, I would suggest you booking an individual session with me. I'm Coach Sierra, I'm the Research and Assessment Specialist. But overall, I hope you have a take home message of what non-experimental research is and how or when we might prefer it over experimental research. If you have any additional questions or want to know more about our company, Academic Coaching for World Changers, of course, you can email us at drpam2020 at gmail.com. Or check us out on our website at academiccoachingforworldchangers.com. Thank you so much for joining, everyone. I'm Coach Sierra. Have a lovely day.